Hello and welcome. Walters Kluwer is excited to announce a new feature that will significantly reduce the time your staff needs to review OCR data for accuracy during autoflow. This new feature called the Scan Optimizer will save time for both the preparer and reviewer, thus allowing your staff to reclaim their time. So let's jump into it. Let's start by answering the question, what is Scan Optimizer? Scan Optimizer is a validation technique that leverages OCR technology. OCR is optical character recognition, and it is the technology that ProSystem FX Scan uses to extract data from forms already. When you autoflow data from scan into tax, you might have a staff member review the data to ensure that scan extracted it accurately. You could be using the validation step during autoflow, or you may wait to review it once it's imported into the tax return. However, it's important to note that someone is reviewing this data manually and comparing the results to what they see on the page. Scan Optimizer will replace your manual validation with a technology-driven validation. It will send the data through two different OCR engines. The second OCR engine will act like a set of human eyes. When the second OCR sees something different than the first OCR engine, the Scan Optimizer will flag these items for a final review by you. Since it's only pointing out the items that differ, you only need to review a small percentage of the data, saving you lots of time. Before we get to the details, there are a few notes to bring to your attention. The Scan Optimizer is built into the current Autoflow wizard and fully integrated into your workflow. Because it's built into Autoflow, it is available for both of our scan applications as well as both of our tax applications, so no one will miss out on this great new feature. It's also good to note that this is a technology-driven verification process. The data remains local to your firm and your users, so there is no need to have your clients sign a 7216 consent form. The data is in your full control at all times. To fully take advantage of all the time savings and increased accuracy, it is critical to ensure that your users are performing the OCR validation during the autoflow wizard and not after the data is imported into tax. Once the data is imported into tax, you will lose the pinpointed data that needs to be reviewed, and it will blend into the rest of the data in the tax return, rather than jumping off the page for you to take action. So if your firm is not completing the OCR validation on the front end, you may want to test and consider updating your workflow. Trust us when we say it will be well worth the effort to change your process. Okay, let's see it in action. Upon launching the Autoflow wizard, with the Scan Optimizer, you will see some additional information. This will show you how many fields where the two OCR engines did not agree, indicating fields that need your human eye to review the data for accuracy. This will also track your progress as you review the necessary fields. The first row is showing us that there are 32 pages available for autoflow. And if you see, the Scan Optimizer is telling you there are 35 fields that require a human to review. But pages versus fields is not a fair comparison and doesn't give you the real impact of the scan optimizer. To provide you a better comparison, we counted all the fields across all the pages within this file, which came out to be 715 total fields. You need to review 35 fields out of 715, which calculates to be less than 5%. So by adding the scan optimizer to your process, you are reducing your validation time by 95%. That is significant. As you will see, the Autoflow wizard looks and works exactly the same as it does today, and adding the scan optimizer into your current workflow will be effortless. So you can click on the validation button from this page, or you can click on it from the linking page, which is what we will do today. The same validation button appears here on the linking screen, which is where we will select it. In a front-end validation process through Autoflow, users will typically review each and every field. And as you can see in the top right corner of this screen, that there are lots of fields on each form to review. In the top left corner is a list of forms contained in this file. Forms that have errors are in orange font. Additionally, a new column was added called Fields to Review, which represents the number of fields where the data from OCR Engine 1 did not match the data from OCR Engine 2, or in other words, the fields that you need to review manually. For the form we are currently viewing, 
there are three fields that require our review. To help you find the three fields you need to review, we have added some additional columns to the top right panel. The first column is the optimizer value. The optimizer value is the result from OCR Engine 2, and the optimizer score is a calculated confidence score that OCR Engine 2 matches the results from OCR Engine 1. It sounds confusing, but to simplify it, when the optimizer score is less than 100%, it means that the two OCR engines did not agree on the same value, and these are the fields requiring your review. To make it easier for you to identify the three fields that require your review, you can look for optimizer scores less than 100, or the rows with the red font. To make it even easier, if you right-click in the top right panel, you can select the option Show if optimizer score is less than 100%. When this option is turned on, it will hide all of the rows where the optimizer score is 100%. Also to note, once you make this selection, the Autoflow wizard will remember your settings and will apply them automatically the next time you use Autoflow, so you don't need to select it each time. Of course, you can right-click and change the options at any time. That's much better. Do you agree? Now, you can focus only on the fields requiring your attention. What you want to do at this point is review the data in the value column and change it if needed. Remember, the image provided to right of the value is a snippet from the page to make it easy to identify if the value is correct. Note, the optimizer columns cannot be changed, they are provided for information only. Review the remainder of the fields on this form before moving to the next. And when you reach the last field, it will advance you to the next page, as you would expect, and the form is marked complete. Continue to review each field less than 100%. Sometimes for smaller fields, such as fields with a single character, OCR Engine 2 may not have enough data to read, so you will see zero for the optimizer score. It's not anything to be concerned about. Even though there is no optimizer values, you would review these rows like the other ones. The scan optimizer is also available on the gain and loss validation screen. Click on the G and L button to open it. Similarly, the pages in orange contain OCR errors that need your review. However, there are some differences in how the data is presented. If we added columns with the optimizer value and score for each column you already had, the screen would become very cluttered and very wide, so you will find the optimizer data if you hover over a field. Just like on the last screen, fields where the optimizer score is less than 100% are in a red font. Here it is. If what you see on the grid is correct, once again, you don't need to worry about the optimizer information, since that is only for a reference. If you need to change a value in a field, simply type over the current one. When you are done reviewing all the less than optimized fields and close this screen, you will be asked if you have completed the review process. Selecting yes to this message will mark all the optimized fields as complete and will update the information we saw at the beginning of the Autoflow wizard. Similarly, when you have completed the review of the optimized fields on the other forms and close out the window, it will also ask you if you have completed the review to update the Autoflow statistics. Continue Autoflow by reviewing and linking the forms as usual and complete Autoflow. If you have taken the time to review the scan optimized fields, you can be assured that all the data imported into the tax return is 100% correct. It will not require your review or another staff's review inside of the tax application. One final note as we wrap up. As you are already aware, Autoflow statistics are added to each file. In the Autoflow summary, you will find some additional information as it pertains to the scan optimizer. You'll notice for this file, 16 forms were automatically validated by Optimizer, which means more than 50% of the forms never needed to be touched by you or your staff. Additionally, as we noted earlier, only 35 fields from the 715 total fields needed your review, saving you 95% of the time you would normally spend on the validation process. The other two rows may look familiar since they are the same as the first screen during Autoflow, However, here the reviewer can see that the validation was completed by a staff member earlier and won't need a review in the tax application. Thank you for taking the time learning about the scan optimizer functionality built into Autoflow.
we are confident that if you use it during the front-end validation, that it will save you a significant amount of time and energy, and you can be confident that all of the data in the tax return is accurate. If you have any questions, you can find additional knowledge articles on our support site, or open a chat to talk with a support rep. And lastly, we love to hear your feedback, so if you have any enhancement requests or feedback you want to share, please use the link you see on screen and select the Scan and Autoflow option to send your feedback to the correct team. Thanks again.